What's happening, Magnusites? Okay, so I got another email, and I want to read this one. Uh, this one's a little bit interesting. If this man, this young man, is going through something that all men go through and have gone through. So let me get to it. It says, hey, Mag, I'm a relatively new subscriber, messaging you for the first time. I'm turning 20 on June 22nd, and up till a month ago, I thought I wanted to become a medical surgeon, uh, and that that was my purpose. When I realized it wasn't, I dropped out of the program, moved back into my parents' house. I was studying abroad and am now looking for a good business school to enroll in because that's supposedly the safest path to a paying job. I'm facing a problem with, my, with finding my purpose. I know that I have the will and the power to move in any direction I choose, but it's the choosing part that's got me stumped. People say that, they, uh, that you should do what you love. And I don't know what I love. And it's driving me and my parents crazy that I've just been sitting home these past couple weeks watching Blue Mountain State and playing video games. Any advice you could give me would be greatly appreciated. P.S. I saw Man of Steel yesterday and I thought it was awesome. I know you've been psyched out for quite some time and I know you're really going to love it as well. Look forward to seeing your review, Vid. Um, you know what, man? If I were you, if I were you, what I would do, and I'm going to tell you this, I didn't realize my purpose until I was in my 30s. I started discovering it around 27, okay? But everyone's life experience and journey is different, okay? You, I've read certain studies that have said that to gauge a child's success you can see by how supportive his parents are now if you have very supportive parents okay you're looking for what you love what your passion is well, your passion is something that speaks to your core to your heart to your true self and who better to speak with than the people that know you the best okay your parents your siblings, all right? Other family members and your closest friends. What I would do after sitting down and meditating on what your passion is, what it is you love to do, taking a piece of paper, get that pen and write down what your passions are, what you love to do, things you like to do. And as you write, you will notice sometimes ideas will just start to flow because they're all associated with each other. Things you love, one could bring up one thing. Oh, I, you know, I, I like, I love football, and oh, well, I also like weightlifting. Uh, I like wrestling. These are all things that are, you know, connected to each other. I love reading. You know, hey, plays are cool. Maybe I like acting. I was in a play when I was younger. You know, start to think about things that people said that you probably would be great at. That was my calling when people told me since I, the age. Since being in fourth grade, I can remember people telling me how funny I was. And as I got older, people saying, you should be on TV. You should be a comedian. All these, I heard it all my life, all the way up until 22 years of age. And this woman from MTV, I was waiting on her. I was waiting tables, and she told me I had a great voice, and I should look into voiceovers. And she actually called me to New York to do uh, um, you know, an audition for, for Celebrity Deathmatch, all right? I mean, all these years people were telling me and I wasn't paying attention to it. I wasn't listening to my calling. So here's the thing. Are you listening to your calling? All right? So what I was saying was after sitting down with yourself, you're going to sit down with the closest people to you. You write down all you can, identify with all you can of what you love. And if you haven't come to it then, then speak with those that are closest to you and ask them what they think and not these oh well you make a lot of money as a surgeon you make a lot of money as a lawyer that's what you should do I know that a lot of parents and people are like that you can make a lot of money at sales hell 
I'm about to get a job where you can make anywhere from 45000 to 450000 You got what I'm saying? Guess which one I'm going for. And I ain't got no motherfucking diploma. You know what I'm saying? Well, I got a diploma, not a, a degree. <laughs> I ain't got no degree. So what I'm basically trying to say is find something that you love to do. And just because someone wants to point you in that direction, just because it pays high, doesn't mean that you're going to be satisfied with it. That it's going to be your bliss. That it's going to be your love. All right? That is what I'm telling you to do. Another thing you may want to do, say brainstorming with yourself, meditating on that idea and speaking to your friends and family does not work and you still can't think of it because you're young. Like I said, I came into mine at 27. Some knew what they wanted to do since they were children. I always wanted to entertain people as a child though. You got what I'm saying? Um, let me show you this book right here. This one was pretty good. Short, quick, easy read, and it also came with a program and a printout. Strength Finder 2.0. It uh, subscribes to the philosophy that basically you need to work with your strengths. Forget what your weaknesses are. What you're strong in is what you need to flourish. You got what I'm saying? That one, and I believe my um, former boss had told me about this one. And I think I downloaded it on audio, but I actually didn't... Um, I didn't uh, go through it yet, but I think it's called The Passion Test. It's an audio book from audible.com called The Passion Test, Finding Your Passion. So check that out. Even look online for different things, you know. What can help me, you know, in finding your passion, ways to find your passion. These could spark things in your head to help you, all right? So I don't wanna go too long on this. I hope this helped, man. Thanks for being a subscriber. And remember, make sure if you like this, you post this on your Facebook page, you post it on Tumblr and Twitter. One million subscribers. Woo!